adding displacements and distortions to Pixelmator Pro. Displacements or distortions can be applied in multiple ways. I'm going to use the effects panel over here. Go to effects, with that selected, go to here, and then go to the plus just here. Click there, and this will add an effects layer. So you can apply effects without affecting the underlying layer, other than obviously visually. So once you've done that, what you can then do is go to add effect, click here, then go to distortion, and then down to displacement map. So click that. By default, you get this very small effect, sometimes hard to see. You can go here and you can change original size to stretch, so it stretches across the image. You can see a distortion there, and you can modify the scale or amount. So let's just increase that. So you can see that effect applied across the entire image. You may prefer that result. But what you can also do is go to Tile. Tile is a great one for creating very painter-like effects, distortions, very subtle ones, as well as extreme ones. Also, you'll notice you might get this edge effect around here as you change the amount. So you can reduce it down and you will see as you do that, the effect reduces there around the edge. But I'm not going to go with that. I'm going to go up here and just click here, preserve transparency. So that edge will disappear and it's applied all the way. Now what you can do is you can modify the scale. You can see the effect again. This is tiled again. This is the one you get here, but you can change it. You've got choose here. So click choose to select that, then go and find a file. Now I've got a whole range of files and it can be a PNG, all those sort of formats that can be accepted. And I'm gonna select one of those. So select this one, import. Obviously the results will be different depending on the image that you select. And then you can modify the scale again. And you can see the effect. This one creates a very diamond-like design. And also you can modify again the amount and also change the angle. You can rotate it to create very weird sort of pixelated, unusual distortions that way. And you can also modify the smoothness, which creates a lovely more wavy light design. And a variety of wavy designs can be created using the smoothness approach. You can also use this. So you can turn it off. It's obviously, in this case, no difference. But also what you can do, you've got this displacement map. You can add another one. Simply hold down the option key on the keyboard on your Mac and just click here and just drag. And you see a little plus there. That's created another displacement map again to this effects layer. So it's not applied to the original image. And then you can modify this. So you can go here, I think choose, let's just go and select a different file. So maybe this time this one and click import. And then you've got another result there. So you can see you can distort that scale change the smoothness, you don't have to have it max, do that. And also change the amount for that one and change the angle. So a variety of gain combination. But also what you can do, exactly the same. Simply go up here, select that, and again, option and drag, and you see the plus again, and you created another one. So you can then choose another file. This one, I'm just gonna to go to a different selection. So let's go for this. And I've got some circular ones. So circular ones there, import. And now you've got a circular design added into it. And you can change the scale or reduce it down. You can see the scale, that mottling effect very quickly. And also again, angle, amount, smoothness can all be altered to create all kinds of unique designs. So there you are, lovely displacement map, very quickly applied. But what you can also do is you can save it. So you can go up here to the effects, along here and you've got this option here you've got various things for copying the effects resetting the effects but also you can go here and you can add a new collection a new collection you can call displacement maps distortions whatever you want to call it you can also rename remove etc but you can add this preset just by clicking the plus now unfortunately because it's an effects layer it doesn't show the preview there if you applied it to the actual image layer directly you would see the effect, albeit very small little preset. So what you can do, just click plus, and there you've got that. Now, of course, probably better is you can right click and you can redefine it or rename it. All those options are available. That's for another video. But so you could rename it to something more interesting, a circular, whatever, effect. 
So once you've done that, you can now see here, I've got other displacements. So I can just go click here. You can see the effect there, slightly more painterly effect. Also, again, you can click that one or click the one that we've just created. And you can see you can create all kinds of weird and wonderful distortions, which of course you can combine with other effects as well, or just simply flatten the layer if you don't want that effects layer anymore.